first of all, congratulations. This is your third tournament championships. How do you feel about that? It feels nice to be on the streak and it actually feels really nice to beat teams because a lot of people give us flag about you know beating IG at Red Bull, you know, not the strongest competition, but now we beat the likes of the Chinese teams and all the other good teams. So it feels like now we actually have some nice results to enter TI and 人生的感觉非常好，因为在红牛比赛的时候，很多人都说我们的对手其实不是最强的。然后这一次的话，面对那么多好的中国队友，还队伍还有其他强队，所以呃，我们现在算是有点成绩了吧？嗯，然后就是让他们整体评价一下队伍在这个比赛整体的表现。Um, can each of you rate? I mean, make some comments on your overall. Overall performance in this tournament? Uh, of team. Of the entire team. team. Awesome. I think we played fairly good. Uh, we, <clears throat> I think we were a little bit uh, more comfortable in the whole system of picking anyway. So a lot of teams wanted to play a little bit more very crazy against us in the end to get a win out of us. And we were still pretty calm. So I would say we played like nine percent good. 我觉得我们打得非常好，很多队伍在面对我们的时候都会选一些很疯狂的阵容，但是我们在那种情况下还是保持了冷静。呃，整体来说，我觉得我们打了百分之九十或者八十五的吧。这次比赛就是有六支中国参加 TIE 队的全部来了，而且还是在中国举办的，但最终的结果却是三个外国队就是保揽前三。他对这个结果有什么看法？他们？ So, in this tournament, all six TI Chinese teams, TI invited Chinese teams attended, but the top three teams are all Western teams. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think uh, as soon as the patch came out, they are a bit slower to adapt to the patch, and, but in a few months, I think, uh, they will start to understand a bit more, and if they find a way to play this uh, patch, I think they will become uh, very strong again, <coughs> but uh, right now I see us and the Empire who are in the finals a bit higher level than the Chinese. Team, I think. 新版本出来了之后，他们就是中国队伍，适应版本的话比较慢。在未来几个月，如果他们能找到合适自己的打法的话，他们也会打得更好。但是目前来说，我们还有总决赛的另外一支队伍 Empire， 是比他们了解的话，比他们是更高一个层次的。就是你们在对阵帝国第三场的比赛中，帝国的纳比克给你造成了很大的麻烦。为什么第四把的时候没有扳掉纳比克？是因为自信吗？ In the third game, Empire's Rupert gave you a lot of trouble. How come you guys didn't ban it in the fourth game? I don't know. Cool, I um, well, Rubik is a hero that can uh, do a lot of things in a game. I think uh, Rubik isn't a hero that you should be scared of. Uh, even though he has the ability to steal ultimates and maybe turn, uh, turn team fights, it's pretty much the same with any other hero. And uh, in the last game, we felt like the Rubik wasn't going to do much in the trident that we had against them. So we decided to let them keep doing it. Rubik is a very powerful hero, but I don't think this is a very scary hero. In the fourth round, I think Rubik was not a big deal when he was in the first round. So we didn't do it. Then the Dead War came and won the tournament. Your team was also very good. Then you were 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 also very good. 细节处理跟帝国的。Empire is known to have perfect team fights, and so do you. Can you please rate or compare the differences in details in team fights between the two teams? It's hard to speak in detail. I think the Empire was indeed the best team in case of uh, engagement. And it kind of felt hard to play against them in the small tournament compared to the other teams because they took the fight so well. I think they're just very quick on their movement. 
So we are also a pretty fast team. So yeah. 说说细节的话，其实很难说。但是帝国确实是一个打团战很犀利的队伍，他们的动作很快，但是我们的动作动作也很快。然后第三第三局的时候，你们在对战帝国，就是后期的时候有一波开五人开悟，然后准备抓他们，然后就是到对方高地的时候，你们把那个帝国的信使给杀了，然后在。从我们观众的视角来看的话，就是因为你们杀了那个视角暴露了你们位置，所以才导致了那那一波团的团灭，最终就是导致你们失掉那场比赛。就是你，就是说一下你们当时为什么要杀那个现实。In the third game, when you guys five men smoked and you guys went to the other side, let's see, bottom right, and it's where when it's where you guys killed the courier, and from the audience perspective. That's killed by killing the quarry. It's the reason why your position was exposed, thus causing the team wipe. Do you agree? And why did you decide to kill the quarry? Um, I think uh, we had the idea that they were on the on the opposite side of the map that they actually were. We thought that they were in the arena jungle, and the quarry was flying back from the arena jungle. So we assumed that uh, they were in that position, and uh, that's why we decided to kill the quarry. But uh, I guess in hindsight, it might be as you say that killing the core might have led to us all dying. 其实那时候我们以为他们的位置是在下路天天辉的野区，呃，就是信使是送东西在回家的路程，所以我们才决定杀了那个信使。但是我同意，在观众的眼中看来是杀了那个信使而暴露了我们的地点。第一个问题想问一下 Papi 队长，作为队长，能够给队伍带来比较好的一个化学反应是，我觉得是应该是发掘队员的呃长处。那你觉得队员以及自己的长处都在什么地方 ？This question is for Papi, obviously. Um, as the captain, one of the strengths is to discover each player's, well, each teammate's strengths. What do you think each of your teammate's strengths are? Uh, it's quite kind of obvious, uh, and uh, the community also realizes that we have three people from three different teams, and uh, we all have our strengths of understanding how we want to play. And if we mix that together, then we're all going to be, we, we're going to have a lot of strategies and a lot of confidence in it. But uh, the only thing that's connected here is that if we all trust that everything kind of works, uh, the alliance playstyle. The EG playstyle, the Navi playstyle, that they all work to some extent, that we can all use them and not uh, uh, be negative on something to like to play a split push or play uh, a kind of five man or play or some I don't know your Navi strategies or something like that. So in in that sense, uh, if we're all comfortable understanding that everything works by percentage, of course, not everything is all good in one patch. Uh, we have that in our synergy. 我们自己知道，然后所有的观众也知道，我们来自三支不同的队伍。然后我觉得最重要的是，我们都彼此相信，我们所想的东西是可行的。就例如，嗯 ，EG 或者 Alliance 或者嗯 Navi， 就是他们的方法可以可行的话，我们也能做得到。就无论是任何的玩法，就是分开推，或者打团战，或者就是 Navi 的，就是呃。嗯杂技，杂技阵容，只要我们相信，当然也不是百分之百什么什么都可行，但是只要我们足够相信的话，还是可以的。第二个问一下，现在的 BP 手 S 4看到 Secret 现在的阵容有很多属于他们的体系，可以说，呃，有的以护甲为基础的，也有像最后这一把以治疗、治疗量啊这种的为这些战术的构成思想。个研发是怎么样的一个过程？然后你们手里有多少种这样的体系 ？The questions for the band picker now as for we see that you have a lot of lineups with different strategies and different themes.、Um, say the healing strategy from the last game. Who came up with these strategies and how many do you have in your hands? I mean, first of all,、uh, we're picking heroes that we like to play and we're comfortable with. And、uh, we are, when we're in the draft stage, all of us are considering a lot of heroes. But、uh, 
and then we have to boil one boil down to a few of them. So it's a struggle to uh, you know uh, discard some of the heroes and see which one you your team that fits your team and your players, and then uh, if it's possible to bring it in versus uh, what your opponent has right now. So, uh, so it's a uh, Pretty hard task because uh, there's a lot of voices, but uh, it's something that has to be done. First, I want to say that we will choose some suitable heroes, and we will also use them. When we choose heroes, we will consider many heroes, but we need to give up some that are very difficult. And we also need to see the opponent's choice to make a decision. We will also look at the choice. 我们大部分时间都会去看一下这个英雄能不能。我们现在的阵容，然后旁边有很多就是声音或者意见，所以其实是一件很困难的事情。好，再问一下 RTZ， 就是他现在在呃 Secret 的表现以及团队的成绩都非常好，但是之前一季的队友接受采访的时候有说过，就是 RTZ 的风格是偏刷，并不是特别适合一季的感觉。那他自己对这样是怎么样一个呃想法？ This question is for TZ. You have such great performance in Secret right now. In an interview of EG, they mentioned that RTZ is a is more form oriented player, and it doesn't really suit their play style. What do you have to say to that? <coughs> I think I'm the type of player that will adapt to whatever. I was adapting to some sorts of style, like uh, you can refer to six eight three, the style like of Jugger and Troll. I had some problems with that kind of set of heroes, but now with this patch, I feel like the hero pool that uh, I am, I want to play, and I am thinking that's good. I think I can play those heroes very well, and I can adapt to whatever I need to do. Oh, I think I am a player who can adapt to whatever I need to do. Oh, I think I am a player who can adapt to whatever I need to do. 呃，你提到的可能是六点八三版本，当时是剑圣还有呃巨魔，这些英雄我其实不是特别适应。但是新版本出来之后，有很多我喜欢而且想玩的英雄，所以我觉得我可以适应这个版本更好。我想问一下 H4， 就是。呃，帝国战队的兽王体系是玩的非常的好的，然后今天决赛上四场，呃，秘密战队都没有搬帝国的兽王，是因为提前做好准备了吗？还是兽王之英雄并不厉害 ？This question is for S4. We know that Empire is known for their good beast master, but in all four games today, you didn't seem to ban beast master at all. Did you think? Did you? Do you prepare, uh, did you prepare against them, or did you think it wasn't in, it wasn't that good? Um, I speak for myself. I, I don't feel that the hero is strong right now. Um, so basically, we were not afraid of playing against the hero at all. Uh, we did prepare like what could be strong versus the hero itself, but we, if they were weak, we we were ready for it. Yes. I feel. 兽王其实并没有那么厉害，然后我们也不害怕他。当然，我没有准备就是嗯、um, 对付他的英雄，但是我们觉得没有必要搬了他们的。哦，然后我想问一下 ，Papi， 就是现在离离 T5 已经不远了啊、呃，你们队伍有什么准备的计划？在备战的过程中，有哪些队伍是你们需要重视的，然后重点研究的？对手。This question is for Papi. T5 is coming up. Do you have any plans of preparation, and are there any teams that you will focus on studying or preparing for? I uh, study it one by one. I don't think you can ever do a move where you study everybody at the same time. Uh, Dota is a game of momentum. You, you need to study your enemy which you are going to face against early, uh, not before the games or something like that, the day before. But overall, trying to study everything is going to burn you out, so take it a little bit easier. We're just going to do the same thing which we always do. I think it's working out for us anyway. And uh, we're just going to be prepared for the match. So of course, we're going to have some strategies and stuff, and we're going to either scrim or uh, have some practice going on, but you should not ever overdo things. 我们会一个一个选手去去准备。我觉得所有一起准备的话，其实是不可能的事情，因为 DOTA 是一个按照节奏的游戏，所以我们会在就是遇到对手的前一天或者比赛之前准备。
当然我们会有一些战术。然后我们也会训练来练习这些战术，但是如果是把所有人都一起就是准备的话，是不可能的。哦，好，谢谢。冠军拿了很多，表现也几乎完美。最近你们有没有想过别的战队能研究出针对你们的战术？呃、uh, ，The question for Poppy, you've won many titles recently. Are you ever afraid of your opponents figuring secret out? Uh, figuring us out is. Not the main problem I think which we ever feel is uh, a thoughtful thing. I I think we still have a lot of heroes which we want to pick, and it just uh, ends up that we just have to make more things available for ourselves. If you go into a team thinking that they will constantly do the same things, is when you might actually screw yourself over because the team will remind you to have new strategies, new ideas, and if you only prepare against the things that you have behind there. Like before, then you might screw up. Uh, I don't feel like uh, I'm worried about anything. All, all I'm uh, thinking about is to fix all the problems we still have, create more diversities, and just keep on going at the same pace as we're going. 其实我我并不担心队伍会研究透，我们觉得那不是一个问题，因为一个队伍是不断的。发就是发掘新的英雄，然后我们也会准备更多的战术。如果我们的对手觉得我们已经研究透我们了，那其实他看到我们之前做的事情是无法打败我们已经未来准备的事情。我其实不太担心别人研究我们，我们现在只想专注于解决我们现有的问题。啊你感觉打比赛穿拖鞋，你感觉有对你的大腿加成吗 ？Do you feel that you get an extra buff by wearing slippers to a match? Um, I guess so. I mean, we haven't lost the game until now, so I must say, must be lucky or something. But I think it's the shorts more than the slippers. 不可能吧？因为我们到目前为止没有输过比赛，就刚刚那场，所以我觉得他是幸运的。但是比起拖鞋，我觉得是我的短裤。We can see that any team can play good only about one year, and then they make uh, changes in their roster. So, can the team exist uh, without any changes in ros roster for a long time? Only humans can exist like that, but they don't. So, changes have to happen. 他的问题就是，很多队伍在一年之后都会做些做出一些人人的调整，你们会不会持续下去？然后 Poppy 的答案是，如果人类能继续生存生存下去的话，呃，有可能，但是，嗯、呃，改变是无可。